Hello YouTube world, my name is Serene and welcome to Staying Serene. Today we'll be sharing a Serene Saturday on Stop Relying on Yourself. Serene Saturday is when I share faith-based, encouraging, inspirational messages. So let's get right into this Serene Saturday. So this year has been a whirlwind of just so many things and so much changes. And one of the major changes in my life is having to switch to online school due to COVID-19. It has been quite a transition. I'd say that online school has been very, very interesting. You know, it's a lot to get used to, and I'm still not completely used to this whole online experience. Honestly, I prefer in-person classes. I just feel that they're just better in getting engagement, participation, and just, you know, having a connection with your classmates and your teacher. But Online school has been a challenge, and um, I find myself going through so many emotions in the past few months of online school. You know, I've been stressed, overwhelmed, um, lazy, unmotivated, and then on some days I'm hardworking, dedicated, completely motivated, and I just want to get work done. And what I found is that I rely on my own strength to get things done. I rely on my own strength to be productive. And that's not what should be happening because when I rely on my own strength, I fail. When I rely on my own strength, I give up. And so what is the solution to this problem? Not relying on your own self, but relying on God's strength. So how do we do this? Well, number one is to realize that you don't have to do it on your own. Okay, that is a main point because it's so easy to think that you have to do everything on your own, that you have to do life on your own, and you just think that you have to rely on your own self because there's no one else you think you can rely on. And so for me, it's so easy to forget that, you know, I need help. It's just so easy to think that I can do it on my own, and then I fail myself time and time again, proving to my own self that I can't do it on my own. So number one is to realize that you don't have to do it on your own, okay? It's okay if you need to ask for help. It's okay if you need to reach out. You don't have to do life on your own. Number two is to remember who God is. You know, sometimes we think of God as this really big, mighty person, and he's looking down on us like, oh my gosh, why'd you do that? And sometimes we see him as a judge, or he's angry. But you know, he's also our Heavenly Father. Yes, God is just. Yes, God is just. Yes, he's all powerful. Yes, he's almighty, but he's also our friend. He calls us friends. He's our family. He's our heavenly father. And he desires to have a relationship with us one on one. Okay? And so sometimes we forget who God is. God is our friend. He wants us to talk to him. He wants us to bring our cares and worries to him. In fact, God is our helper, our confident. And he wants us to run to him when we are in trouble and when we are in need. Okay, so if you go to 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, cast all your cares on God because he cares for you. You hear that? Cast all of your cares on God. Why? Because he cares about you. He cares about you. And when I think about how he cares about me, I think that he cares about everything that's about my life. He cares about everything that I care about. And so, yes, I can call on God to help me in my schoolwork and in my adjustment to online school because he cares about that because he cares about me. I can call him if I just need some help with my homework or if I just need help to be productive and to get certain things done. I can call on him for help. He's not looking down on me and he's not annoyed that I need help with the simplest of things. I think God actually wants us to come to him for help. He wants us to cast all of our cares, our burdens, and our anxieties on him, especially because we cannot carry them on ourselves. You know, he has... He is the only one who's able to carry all the burdens that we carry around. So I want to encourage you, if you have any, any anxiety, any stress, anything that you've been carrying on and you've been relying on yourself, the best thing to do is to put it on the person who can bear it. And the only person who can bear your burdens is God. Okay? He is the only one who can carry all of your stress, your worry, your anxiety, and he's the only one who can take care of it. So never think that God, he doesn't care about your life because he does. And he wants you to come to him and to just give him all of your burdens and care because he wants to help us. And so number three is to ask God for help. You know, God, he's not just going to come in and just take all our burdens away. We have to open ourselves up to him. We have to pray to him and we need to ask him for his help. So what I like to do is in the morning or just like when I'm starting my day and I realize there's something that I need to get done and instead of trying to do it on my own strength that's going to fail, I think, okay, then I need to rely on God. So I'll pray to God and I'll ask him for help. Lord Jesus Christ, please help me get the things I need to get done today. Please guide my steps, order my path. And then sometimes when I'm in the moment, 
I'll ask him for help. Like before I filmed this video, for example, um, I asked God to help me to film this video and to give me help in what to say. And so I just want to encourage you to do that. Since that's before I write an essay, I ask God to help me to just write everything out and to help me be on time. I, I'm always asking God to help me with my work. And I want to encourage you to do the same. Ask him for his help. And you know, I'm focusing on online school because that is my major challenge in this season. But it could be whatever you're dealing with. You know, maybe you're trying to learn something new and you just need some help. Maybe you're just going through a rough period. You know, 2020, yes, I can see you. We all need help when it comes to everything that's happened in 2020. But God, he's not going to just throw himself at us. He's going to wait and he wants us to ask. So I want to encourage you to just ask God, come to him to prayer and just throw everything that you're carrying, all your burdens on yourself. I know you're probably tired for carrying them for so long because it is a heavy burden. It really and truly is. And you know, we weren't supposed to be carrying all of this stuff. So I just really do encourage you to ask him for his help. He is willing and ready to help you as long as you just ask him for it. It's like an open gift that he has given us and all we have to do is ask. So ask for his help and ask for his help often because we most definitely need it. So that is how I learned to stop relying on myself and rely on God. You know, God, he's all powerful and he has all this strength. And you know, in comparison to him, we're pretty weak. And so we're not meant to be carrying all this stuff that we actually put on ourselves. We're actually meant to rely on his strength, not on our strength because our strength is fickle. Our strength changes. Our strength is weak actually so the best thing to do is instead of relying on yourself to do th certain things to rely on him and you know we often make the mistake of blocking god out of certain areas of our life thinking that he doesn't care but as i said in the second point he does truly care about everything that is a part of our lives he cares about what we care about you know he cares about us and so just really share with him and just rely on God instead of relying on yourself. I hope this Serene Saturday was encouraging to you and that it helped you. Um, don't forget to check out my Instagram account where you will find faith-based, inspirational, and encouraging quotes that I create myself. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Okay, guys. Bye!